Hello and welcome to Adventure Sean. Today I'm here in Newcastle upon Tyne where I'm going to take a ride on the Metro. I've never been on it before and you know me, I love all sorts of different subway systems, metros, undergrounds. In fact, the London Underground is one of my favourite ever transport systems. I love it to bits. Uh, so I thought whilst I'm here in Newcastle, I've got to have a ride on the Metro and go and experience it. Uh, now it was built in 1980. It's now got 60 different stations and I've got myself a £5.30 day saver ticket. Uh, so I'm going to literally just have a ride round for a few hours. My plan is to head down to Whitley Bay, uh, which is down on the coast, go and have a little look around there, uh, and also just cross over one of the bridges over the River Tyne, and just have a little look around the area, and of course get some footage too. Um, so yeah, I've just gone and bought this ticket. You can buy single tickets if you want to as well. Um, yeah, £5.30, you can ride around on the metro as much as you want to all day. Uh, so I'm starting off my journey um, here next to Gray's Monument at the Monument Station, and there is Gray's Monument there just behind me uh, some beautiful architecture all around here definitely somewhere I'd like to explore more of in the future and film a video here for Adventure Sean anyway let's go and have a ride on the Metro Boop. feel my body aching I feel like I'm breaking and I know it all too well got another new day still I'm feeling misplaced I keep going down 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 too many years going by just arrived at Whitley Bay Station after about a 25 minute ride on the Metro. You can see the station building just behind me there with the clock tower. Uh, anyway, I'm walking straight on now to find the coast. Well, I believe the beach is just up this way. Oh, it's a bit windy. I'm going to find the beach, have a little walk down that way. And I believe if I walk about half an hour or so down the beach, I should come to this lighthouse. So I'm hoping to get down to see that um, before the sun goes down for the day. So that's the plan anyway, sort of enjoy the sunset here in Whitley Bay over on the beach uh, and then I'll get back on the metro down into the centre of Newcastle and uh, have a little ride round there. I definitely want to go over the section where it goes over one of the bridges um, over the water so that's my plan um, yeah with the rest of the video so let's head down onto the promenade here in Whitley Bay. So I've walked about five minutes from the station down the street that you can see just there in front of me and it's brought me straight out here on the promenade and here we are beautiful scenery around here and here's a little map of the area so I've just literally walked straight down here from the metro station five minutes to get to here the plan is to walk down this way past the Spanish city that actually used to be an amusement park there um, used to be all sorts of rides actually I never got to visit it unfortunately it closed in the early 2000s however we'll have a walk past there carry on down here along the promenade and then we should get I mean it's not on this map towards St Mary's Lighthouse that we can just see over there in the distance now it's a little bit further away than what I was expecting well there we go a little zoom in on St Mary's Lighthouse so I'm gonna walk as far as I can to get as close to that I mean from looking on Google Maps I think it's gonna be about a 30 35 minute walk at a brisk pace all the way along here so that's my plan anyway I'm gonna continue on along this way uh, we'll walk past Spanish City you can just see that actually in the distance as well next to the uh, Premier Inn sign you can see the domed roof structure just there a Spanish city but I'm gonna carry on walking down this way and let's head down towards St Mary's Lighthouse it's gonna be a bit of a trek it's a bit chilly but why not let's enjoy it so this is quite cool you've got all the different benches here they're actually named after different rides that used to be at Spanish City you got the Virginia real one here that I especially like that's quite a nice little sort of throwback it's what used to be here on this site. Got the sand castles just here as well. And the lighthouse is getting a bit closer. But look at the sun shining, so I don't mind. <laughs> Let's carry on around this way. We'll see the front of Spanish City. It's a gorgeous building, isn't it? It kind of reminds me a little bit of the front of a pier. Uh, but you got some information here all about the restoration of Spanish City. Uh, as you can see, if you look here in the mid 2000s, um, a lot of work was needed to be done uh, to restore the building. If we make our way over this way, uh, you can actually find some more pictures here of all the work that's been done uh, to restore this pretty iconic structure. And it does look really, really nice, doesn't it? 
There you go, it's a bit of information. Of course, feel free to pause the video if you want to uh, read a bit more into that. Uh, but yeah, it tells you all about how work was done and by summer 2018, uh, it was all completed. You see it there at night, all the work going on at the top there. Of course, the iconic dome uh, following its redecoration. They also had a fun fair back out here at the front as well, uh, just to celebrate the opening weekend. Well, there you go, that's Spanish City. Yeah, there was all sorts of rides here, roller coasters and everything. It was huge. And just so you know, I know a little bit about theme parks. If you've not already seen my other channel, check it out. It's called Theme Park Worldwide. Just a few theme parks on there. <laughs> Oh, it really is gorgeous around here. And look at this little bridge that we've got here as well. It's quite interesting, isn't it? Little bridge that just goes over the uh, water here. scenery around here is absolutely gorgeous look at it i feel like i'm in a different world and i'm gradually getting closer and closer to that lighthouse i've just had another check on google maps say i'm about 15 minutes walk away now so not too bad i mean it's much closer uh, than it was earlier on i mean you think i started way back somewhere over there uh, you can see spanish city just there so i've walked a fair way to get to where i am so i thought well the sun's not fully gone down yet so i'm going to carry on walking this way so let's just see what happens really i mean i'm not even on a path now i really should have stayed down there on the beach but oh well you learn these things i'm going to carry on this way and i'm heading for that car park which is right next to the lighthouse because i think there's a road just here that leads down to it so i should be able to uh, get some great views from over there Woo, let's carry on oh so after walking on the side of this cliff for quite a while now i finally made it back onto some tarmac and uh, yeah, here I am, not too far away now from St. Mary's Lighthouse. Let's say another five minute walk around the corner. Um, but yeah, I'd say so it's probably took me about 40 minutes to get to this point. Obviously I did stop for a little bit down at Spanish City. So yeah, Google Maps was kind of right. You know, if you keep going quite quick, you maybe do it in half an hour, 35 minutes uh, with a brisk pace. But do you really want to go a brisk pace when you're taking all the scenery? I mean, look at it, it's absolutely stunning. And I've made it here just before the sun has gone down for the day. You can see on the horizon there now, it's gonna go down soon. So I wanna make sure I get around here, get some footage, get some photos for Instagram. And then I'll of course make my way back that way. Hopefully get some food around here as well before heading back on the Metro into Newcastle. Uh, I'm sure there's quite a few food options down in Whitley Bay. Saw a couple of bits down there, hopefully a weather spoons. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna carry on walking up this way. Just a few minutes to go until I get to the lighthouse. I can just see it peeking up from behind the uh, roller hills just here. <sighs> So I was just walking around the corner here and then these two horses just emerged up there on these dunes that we've got. Like, how interesting is that? Literally, <laughs> just sort of walking around. But here we go, isn't this beautiful around here? Oh, I love it. Carry on walking down this way. Just taking it all in, really. Like, gonna get as close as I can do. See quite a few aircraft making the way over here as well. Probably landing at Newcastle Airport or taking off. But yeah, this is absolutely beautiful. My plan is to go a little bit further along here to sound right next to the lighthouse. And I didn't realise actually there's quite a few little buildings on there as well. Absolutely stunning. It's really, really nice. So after walking about 45 minutes in total from the metro station, I've made it here to the absolutely gorgeous St. Mary's Lighthouse. Look at that. And I tell you what, just seeing it this close up, it's been more than worth all that walking that I've just done. Absolutely incredible. What a structure. It was built in 1898. It stands at 151 feet tall, and that's 48 meters. And look at it, it's absolutely stunning. I'm just gonna sit around here, take it all in, put some more shots in for you guys, and let's learn more about this wonderful structure. I'm still so young, think we know everything, we don't know anything, but time doesn't move slow, feel the pressure on me, I think I might go crazy, oh, one too many years going by, I'm caught in an action. It's absolutely gorgeous round here, I love it, I mean I can sit here for hours and hours on these rocks and just take it all in. If you come here when there's a low tide, of course you can walk out onto St. Mary's Island and climb up the steps all the way to the top of the lighthouse. And I bet the views from up there are absolutely breathtaking. 
for now I'm just going to chill out here on these rocks, just take it all in as the sun goes down here in Whitley Bay. Well worth the walk, it's absolutely breathtaking. One of my favourite views here in the UK. In my head, I'm screaming, but out of my mind I'm still too young. Well, that was 100% worth the walk. I really, really enjoyed it. I've just sat there for about 15 minutes, taking it all in, absolutely gorgeous. And I'd love to come back here at some point and go into the lighthouse and go up to the top and uh, head over to the island. It'd be fantastic to do that. And wouldn't that make another great video for Adventure Sean at some point in the future? There's so many beautiful places in the UK, there really is. And sometimes, you know, I go abroad and see all these other countries, you forget just how much nice stuff we've got in this country and what there is to explore. And that's what this year is gonna be all about. So many wonderful sites and places to visit um, here throughout the UK coming up here on Adventure Sean. Um, anyway, as the sun's going down, I'm gonna walk now back towards the metro station. There's another one that's a little bit closer, I believe. So I'm gonna get uh, on from there. It's right near um, Spanish City. I, well, I say that, a little bit of a trek down from Spanish City. So the plan is to get on the metro there and uh, make my way back into the center of Newcastle. Wow, what a beautiful experience seeing that. We say we're growing older, got weights upon our shoulders. I know this can't be it for right. We're still so young. We say we're growing older, got weights upon our shoulders. I know this can't be it for right. We're still so young. Some beautiful shots there on my return metro journey from Whitley Bay back into Newcastle. Uh, when I got to Monument Station, I actually swapped over onto the other line just so I could go over uh, the river and go over that bridge where you get a fantastic view um, looking down towards the different bridges here in Newcastle. Uh, of course, the seven bridges that cross the river and you wanna check out my previous video that was uploaded to this on the channel if you wanna find out more about all of the bridges. Uh, but yeah, I literally just did a quick trip uh, over to Gateshead, swapped over on the other side and then came back over to Monuments where I've just walked back down to here uh, just to take in some of the nice atmosphere of Newcastle and uh, come and see the bridges for one last time. Uh, what a great day I've had today. I really I like the Metro. I think it's fantastic. Of course, it's a much smaller system than that of the London Underground. Uh, I think it's fairly priced. £5.30 is good um, for what you get for the all day riding around on it. And the fact as well, you can go down to the coast on that. Uh, like Whitley Bay is gorgeous. I mean, that's been the highlight of my day today. Seeing St. Mary's Lighthouse. The weather's been perfect for it as well. Um, but yeah, it was wonderful getting down there. But just getting to experience the Metro uh, has been great as well. I've really, really enjoyed it. And I've seen quite a few now of the different stations on there. Maybe about a third of the stations on the network, um, which isn't too bad at all. It was really nice to see that. It's great how the trains are designed. The fact that you've got like, the driver's cabin and you can sit right next to them and the same in the back as well. Um, you know, looking back, seeing all the track just disappearing is great. You know, I wish you could do that on the London Underground. You know, it was really, really nice having that sort of uh, feel to it. The fact you could see the track in front of you and also in the back, how it was disappearing away. Uh, that was a really nice highlight. I believe they are getting some new rolling stock on there, some new trains at some point in the future. So it was good to get here today and experience the current ones on the Metro. Uh, but there we go. It's been a fantastic day. Thanks for joining me here on Adventure Sean um, here in Newcastle. It's been a really nice 24 hours I've had here. Uh, some time yesterday, uh, last night, sort of walking around the city and seeing it all, and also today as well, where of course I filmed the video about the seven bridges, so make sure you check that out on the channel, and also, of course, it's been nice today to see everything that I have done. I'll be back in Newcastle at some point later in the year, look forward to covering more of the attractions as well. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, at Sean Sandbrook, links down below in the video description, so you can see all my photos that I post there, and also remember to subscribe to be notified uh, when I upload new videos here on Adventure Shore. That leaves me with one more thing to say. Get out there and have your own adventures. See you real soon.